on this menu where That's you get right. to order all of their best fish items on here. Welcome to the Foodie TV. Today we're in Koreatown in downtown Los Angeles checking out a new sushi restaurant called Pure Fishy Fishy. They've been open for only a few months. And Richard, what makes this place special? They are special because they offer premium all-you-can-eat sushi. And I just came back from Japan and I've been craving sushi. I'm super excited to be here and can't wait to try everything. So you're gonna see all of that coming up in this video right now. Guys, look at all this incredible food. It looks, looks amazing. Right? Oh my and god. Guys, this place is busy. Like there's it's crowded in here right now. You can hear all the noises, everyone's talking and having a good time. And we're ready to get right into it. Let's go. Here we got the premium sushi options. There's actually a premium side on this menu where That's you get right. to order all of their best fish items on here. And so you, you can choose that if you want to. And the premium option is available for dinner time. And, but I, I believe they allow you to opt for it during lunchtime as well. Don't quote me on that. Um, but it's available all day on Saturdays or yes. the weekends. Right. So the, the lunch options are a little cheaper, but it doesn't come up with all these amazing premium options or selections that you get to order once. Uh, per person. Yes, and there's 12 premium dishes, but let's go down the menu of what we got and we'll try every single one and let you guys know what we think about it. Let's do it. Okay, uh, so first we got the baked green mussel, which is the item that we have right here. Um, baked mussels, always a favorite of mine every time I go to the all-you-can-eat sushis. I always order these. Sometimes they make it good, sometimes they don't. Let's see how the fishy fishy yeah, does it here. That. See all that in there? Right off the awesome. back already, it looks good. They got the uh, seared mayo on there, some masago, green onions, and then the baked scallop right at the bottom. And there's a nice crust on the, nice crust. Uh, the mayo. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I can right? feel that. All right. All right, let's go. Let's Cheers. It mm -hmm. Delicious. That is really good. Wow. The Not too overloaded with all the toppings on top. Yep. Right. The flavor is there. Nice, savory, not too sweet. That's how I kind of like it. And the mussel tastes fresh. That was the most important part. It wasn't like... Exactly. It wasn't briny no. or fishy at all. It was so, really clean. Love that. That was really good. All right. Let's quickly run through to okay. the second one. Okay, we're going to do the orange salmon. Oh. That's the dish that we have right here. There's orange slices with salmon belly and then masago on the top. Take mine. This right one looks here. really refreshing. Super good. You don't usually see salmon prepared like this. Wow. Oh. Okay. All right. Let's go for it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Okay. I'm going to try it with the, the little orange slice that they got here. The yeah. orange. Mmm. Okay. That was a really good right. orange. So guys, the key to this is make sure the salmon is dipped into the sauce and then you get you put some of that orange mm. on top and eat it with both. Wow. The salmon is so good. It is it melts in your mouth. You bite into it, it's nice and soft. And that sweetness from the orange just complements it so well you guys. That that's amazing. I gotta go for the last bite with the orange. Really good. Not fishy at all, super fresh. Their premium is definitely premium. I'm tasting all that premium quality in there already. All right, number three, I believe it's this poke. This, this is, is bluefin tuna poke. poke. Usually I don't order poke at a sushi restaurant, Yeah. but it's part of their premium so options. So, so it has you to have be good. To, you have it has to, try to be good, it. right? Let's try it. Here so we it go. looks like there's some seaweed in here. Got seaweed, sesame seed, furukake, furukake, yeah. um, and got the bluefin tuna. All right, let's try it out. Cheers. Mm, wow. It's good. That really is good. really good. So the thing with poke, guys, is if you eat it and it's been marinated too long or if it's not fresh, it tastes, I explain it, steaky, where the texture is kind of like tough. 
but this one was buttery. Yeah. It broke very easily with very little effort on a bike. And it's not overly sauce or right. seasoned. So it's just right, the flavor. Yeah, you just taste right. the umame of the bluefin tuna, and it's not overpowered by all of the sauce, and the, you know, it's not too salty. Yeah. It's perfectly sweet from the fish. And it looks like they have different cuts yeah. of the bluefin. So, so I see the uh, the lean part and the chutoro part, which yeah. is the medium fatty so it's part. So a combination. You see the lighter color? And then you see the darker color, so there's different cuts of the bluefin tuna. This is the lighter one right here. You can see it kind of looks more of a pinkish color. And then you have the lean cut, which is the red color, which is pretty awesome because they give you two different types of texture in there. It just enhances that flavor. Yeah. It makes it not boring, and it makes you go back for more like right away. Right. Let's finish it. Oh, I'm already almost Oh my done. god. So good. This is really good though. I was just sneaking in bites. Wow, this is good. It's like really, it really, really fresh fish, you guys. Mm -hmm. Like this bluefin tuna is really good. No fishy smell at all. When you see the chef in the background or in the back, they're, they're preparing, they're preparing, it. preparing the fish right yeah. from like, you know, whole steaks. It's all right in the open for you to see. Next one. We got the double trouble. And double trouble. What the double trouble is, minced taro sushi with black truffle on the top. Ooh, and that's oh, gonna be this, this dish right here. So I was trying to pick it up earlier and it was it's a mince type of toro so they were kind of falling off as I was trying to pick right, it up so, it. so this one we're gonna have to be a little quick and pick it up okay. like with precision yes go okay. for it and as you notice we haven't been even eating it with soy sauce and no, that's, that's it's really good yeah, you don't really, really need good. it like the toppings on these are already perfect all right cheers, cheers. Mm. right off the bat the smokiness there's, right a, through. there's like a smoky sear on it the taro all kind of just breaks up as it enters yeah. in your palate. It's just like basically melting your mouth and it's just like... And that up, fresh right? wasabi yeah. on the top was so good. Like it didn't kick me in the nose as hard, but it gave it a nice sweet wasabi flavor to it. So that was very yeah, nice. That was really nice. Next one is called the Spider-Man, which is this crazy looking oh, okay. one right here. Let's see this. So it's deep fried soft shell crab. And I'm unsure wow. of what the orange sauce is on the bottom, but we'll figure that out once we'll we get to out. try it right now. All right, Richard. But, Go for it. Check that out, guys. That is this is huge. Basically, they give you a half a piece of, of a, a soft shell crab. crab, and they deep fry it. And I see some um, eel sauce on there, it's making it okay. look nice. Let's try this out. All right, here Cheers, you go. Guys. Cheers. Whoa! Mm. I think that sweet potato yams kind of tastes like that. I couldn't pick it out. Let's try it just separate. Or is it? It's yams. It's definitely a yam. Yeah, it's a yam puree. Mm. On top of the nice and light crunch. Yeah, it's kind of almost like a tempura to me, but soft shell crab. Some soft shell crab is always good. I like the sweetness from the eel sauce. And then you add in the sweet potato or yam puree. Mm -hmm. And um, it's a nice touch. You don't get too much of that flavor from the sweet potato though because the eel sauce overtakes it. Totally. I feel like it was there mainly for texture because you get this nice crunch and then there's this soft parade that kind of just blends everything together. So you're getting two types of texture in your mouth or your palate is kind of like, wow, I'm getting two different types and it's totally opposites of each other. It's kind of like mind blowing in a way. What's okay. next? What's next? Uh, we got the screaming orgasm. So that's screaming gonna orgasm? be the that's... seared tuna. Oh, yeah. All right, seared tuna. They call it the screaming orgasm. What's in it? So it's seared tuna and it just says with our special sauce. So okay. it's a secret sauce that they make here. So you guys got the seared side and then the bottom side, which is not seared. So it's yeah. a little half and half action. All right, let's try it out. Let's go. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. There's a little citrus to that. I'm just so amazed of how good the premium sushi has been so far. It's so tender, soft. Haven't run across a piece that has any fishy smell or taste yeah. to it. It's been really nice, pleasant, and sweet. Yeah, so far so good with the quality for it, especially for an all-you-can-eat place. Right. Like, so good. I've been to several all-you-eat places where... It's know, questionable. They're it's like... questionable a little bit. It's like, are they using fresh fish or just stuff that they haven't sold for the day and they're just trying to clean it out for the next day? But I feel like here, it's fresh every day. 
so far, it's yeah. definitely higher than the typical they definitely, you could eat. They definitely pay attention to their ingredients here and make sure the quality of the fish is up to par before they're serving it because you can taste it. Okay, so we got the salmon roll sushi, the ikura. Ikura right here. So ikura is always a hit or miss with me, you guys. It either can taste really clean, really fresh, or it can taste really fishy and it's just gonna be a bad experience once it pops in your mouth. So I guess we'll just find out right we're now. We're gonna have to go. This is gonna judge their quality of premium here with this here. here. The ikura is gonna tell us everything. This one I'm gonna dip a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do the same. A little soy sauce. Just give it a cheers, cheers. you guys. Nice and salty. <laughs> It's not bad. Better quality than what I would taste most of the places I would eat at when I go eat sushi. There's no fishy taste, but the salt level on that was a bit high on my opinion. I've tasted some where the saltness was just right, where it's marinated with the sake and the mirin, and then you would get those accents in it. But this one was more salt-based to me. We could probably have done without the, without soy, the sauce. soy sauce. Yeah, without the soy sauce. But clean tasting, not fishy. So that was the most important factor for me. And so that passed. The right here, passed. All right, it deserves guys. to be on the premium menu. The next one's going to be their sea, sea urchin. urchin. Uni. Oh man, I love sea urchin. So, so. a piece of uni here. And then on top of it, they put some fresh wasabi. Right. So, so you it got... looks like Santa Barbara uni to me by the color and shape. Okay, let's and try it out. I love uni, so I love I'm uni excited too. for this one. So this one is going to be another good test. So just to test the premium quality here. Right, right? Cheers. cheers. Mm. Mm. Oh, creamy. Delicious. Double thumbs up on that one. And then that you get the fresh wasabi yeah. coming in through. Oh, it just makes that flavor taste so good. So good. That was really good uni. There was no bitter aftertaste to it, which sometimes I get when I eat uni. That was just clean from start to finish and a very pleasant, pleasant palate to experience like all of that. Like <laughs> Super good. I'm just in shock still of how good that was. That, we might need more of that. That was so right. good. So now we are at the sweet shrimp, Ooh. which is this um, one right here. Yeah, Ama Ibi. Ama Ibi. That is the Japanese name for it. Um, okay, it looks so like they put a little bit of sauce on the bottom yeah, a little and it bit sits of, on a cucumber. A little bit of sauce and then you get a slice, a really thin slice mm -hmm. of cucumber underneath. And I think you're supposed to eat it together, so. Yep, let's, let's try that. that. Here we go. Mmm. Mm. Really good, super fresh. And that cucumber, yuzu, sauce that was incorporated on it, went together with it so good. Yeah, and it lightens it up. Really nice. The tastes so refreshing. Yeah, and you get the sweetness from the shrimp. Oh man. Yeah. And surprisingly, the shrimp tasted a little creamy to me mm -hmm. as I was chewing onto it, and it didn't taste like the, your typical shrimp where it was very lean, where it kind of tastes like you're just biting into protein. This one had like another factor in it, and it starts to like break down on your tongue. So that was pretty cool. That was really nice. Yeah. Next one. We have the salmon, salmon belly? belly sushi. Oh, okay. That's the one that we have right here. Look at this, guys. This is the salmon belly sushi. And Look I'm at that. Unsure of what's on top mm. of that, but it looks pretty um, delicious. I don't know. Yeah, be... I don't know either. Let's we'll try see. it out. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. okay. Cheers, Here we go. guys. I'm gonna dip a little bit of soy sauce on this one. Cheers. Mm. Super I, buttery. I still don't know what that topping is. It tastes like mushrooms to me. It was like a mushroom, kind of garlicky taste to it. Yeah. I think it's like a mixture of both. I don't know, but it's good. It has it's a really, really it, nice. It complements it really yeah. well though. Like it doesn't make us feel like it's off or in in any way. It blends together really well. But man, the salmon belly? That was really Whoa, That was like, buttered. We got the toro next. Toro, tuna belly sushi. So that's there right there. Toro, everyone knows what toro is. It looks incredible, so let's try it out. And uh, you can see that the it's so rich in fat that the temperature, the room temperature, is just starting to make it glisten. And that's how you know that's some taro, you guys. And then you get you know the fresh wasabi on top. The again. fresh wasabi. All they right. are using the best ingredients just for the a premium. A little bit. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Mm. 
Mm. Wow, buttery melt in your mouth. You don't even have to chew it. Mm. The sushi rice, the toro, and the wasabi. Once you mince it all yep. together, it creates a whole new profile of flavor in your yes. tongue, and it's just so nice. And it's unexplainable. Makes wow. you want to crave for another bite, like so right good. off the back. That's so good. And if you guys never have fresh wasabi, it's different. The flavor is not as uh, strong or yeah. as in your face. Because the most of the time when we're eating the powdered wasabi, it's, it's based off of horseradish, and that yeah. is a very strong flavor where it hits your sinuses and you're just like pulling back trying to grasp for air because it feels like you're getting choked out by the horseradish. Yeah. But with the fresh wasabi, it has a nice sweetness to it. And the more you chew on like, this is wasabi stem actually. Mm -hmm. So once the more you chew on it, it gives it that wasabi flavor, but also a really nice sweetness to yeah. it too. Okay, so we got the jumbo scallop sushi, the hotate. Right here. This is gonna be our last one for the premium. Let's go. Again, same thing, fresh wasabi on top. Loving that, that they put fresh wasabi on most of these. Check that out. Got to get a little bit of soy sauce on this yeah. one. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. Super fresh. Super fresh. You taste the sweetness of the scallop. Mm -hmm. This one, the umami of the scallop really shine because the wasabi, when you eat wasabi, it opens your sinuses. So then it gives you this boost in sense. So once you start chewing the fish or the scallop, you can actually taste it and smell it at the same time. So it enhances all yep. the flavors. So it's like a pretty, I don't know, Japanese people are so smart with their hacks. This okay. is the last one we have for this first round. Yeah, so I saw people order this on their table. This wasn't part of the premium sushi, but it's, all, it's on the sushi side. Yeah. Um, so I had to order it and then this looks so cool. So this is baby scallop and they put some type of topping on there to make it look so awesome. It's green, orange, and you get this yeah. nice glistening sauce on there with some sesame seeds on the top. There's a lot going on. So let's go for Cheers. it. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's nice. interesting. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of a baked scallop roll. Yeah. But not baked. Not baked. <laughs> it's a baked scallop roll, but not baked. No. And the nori wrap that goes around it, give it that extra seaweed flavor. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. I really enjoyed that. All right, guys. We're going to finish all of this and then order round two, and we'll be right back. Just like that, we're on round two now. This is the crispy rice with tuna on top, and I think we got the spicy mayo with jalapeno. Love this stuff, you guys. Every time I go to All You Can Eat and they have this as an option, I always order it. I can feel the nice crispiness already wow. on the rice. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers. Here we go. Wow. The key part here is the crispy rice has to be crispy. Sometimes when I go order at other sushi places, they pre-fry it and leave it out so that it's ready to prepare when they need to have it on order. But when you do that, the rice gets stale and when you bite into it, it's like hard and not crunchy anymore. This one on the other hand, you can tell that it is made to order because the rice was still warm on the inside. It was like nice and soft, but the outside of it was nice and crispy. So that made the experience super bomb. Yeah, super, super bomb. delicious. Very good. These are their tacos. There's three different options that you could choose from. We decided to get all three. Look how cute these are, you guys. They are perfect one biters. So that's how we're gonna treat it. Tiny bite size. So this is the salmon one first. Right. Let's go Cheers, for it. Cheers, guys. Mm. Oh, really good. Oh, keep in mind, guys, it's not a tortilla. It's a wonton wrap that they wow. use to make the taco shell. That shell was so freaking good. Mm -hmm. It was light, crispy, and it broke instantly. Yeah. So it didn't like scratch or tear the inside of my mouth trying to do the one bite, you know? And not oily at all. Not oily at all. Light, crispy, airy. And the salmon topping that they had in it, it was very refreshing. Yep. I thought it would taste a little yeah. bit more heavy, but it was actually it nice. It was really nice, nice refreshing. Yeah. Had like a little citrus flavor in it, so that was pretty pleasant. All right, let's try this. We got, this is the tuna. I'm not sure exactly what's in here, but it seems like a little pokey mix, but we'll find out. Cheers. Cheers, guys. 
It's like a little teriyaki. Teri I was gonna flavor, say that. Right? It has like a teriyaki soy sauce flavor to it. Also good, but I prefer the first one, which was the salmon one, a little bit more. Yeah, same here. Just because it wasn't overpowering. This one's a little bit overpowering to me. All right, last one. It looks like shrimp, masago, and some QP mayo. Let's go. Let's Try go. It out. Cheers. Just when you taste the shrimp more, the mayo kind of just gives it a little bit of a uh, creaminess to it. But the shrimp is what stands out in this one. Yeah, the flavor isn't as strong, it's very subtle. Yeah. So out of all those three, I, I, I prefer the, the salmon, salmon one. The, most. the salmon one was the yeah. best one. Let's get to the rolls and then we can get to the So the this was the Washington roll. And uh, what was this one? The white, the white lady roll. White lady roll. Yeah. What do you want to try first? Let's try the... Washington? Yeah, okay. So right here. So the Washington had a crab, salmon, mango, tomato. And it has onions on top. And uh, they said this is uh, a customer favorite, so we had to order what the customers here really like just to see if we agree. Right, cheers, so cheers. Mm. Okay. It reminds me of like a mango salsa on a roll. So you get the freshness of the mango mm -hmm. that cuts through. At first it looked a little bit intense, but the flavor actually mixed together very well. Yeah. Refreshing, it was savory, perfect amount of sweetness where it's not too sweet, where you can enjoy it still. And that crab wasn't too, uh, didn't taste too artificial to me, so it, it made the experience a little bit better. I'm very surprised about that. It's really yeah, good. That one's really good. I liked it. Okay, moving on to the white lady. White lady. So this was red snapper on the top that they seared, crab, avocado, cucumber with masago and mayo on the top. Ready? Let's try it out. Cheers. Mm. Wow. That one was super good. Super good. Oh, that snapper is good. That snapper was mm. so delicious. It was light. Smoky. Smoky. Cause they, I think they charred it yeah. with, the but with a torch. Yeah. And that sauce is like white, citrusy, and sweet at the same time. It was a perfect mixture of all that together. Yeah, super good. Wow. Wow, that was good. I can see why it's one of the popular rolls here. Oh, and just a note guys, this was only half an order of the roll. So oh, yes. you order a full roll, only the signature rolls, you, you can do half. half. All the other rolls, you have to do a full. So that's the best way I like to do it because you get to try more. Exactly. By ordering half. Unagi. Unagi. I know you love unagi. I love unagi and you know, it's, 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 it's hard. It's a hard one to mess up. I got the wasabi mountain on there. Right, let's do this. Let's go. So good. Let me enjoy this real quick. And the wasabi. I've never had wasabi with unagi. That was good. That was really good. That was wow. perfect, you guys. Nice, light, cloudy meat texture on the inside, but the outside was nice and crispy and uh, had a little bite to it. But once you break into it and you get to the inside of the unagi, it was like chewing on clouds. Yeah. It just broke up very easily, melted in your mouth. Now moving on to some of the nigiris that we got. We have yellowtail right here. It's got a Cajun albacore, which is seared on the outside as well. Red snapper. Tamago. And then we got some tamago. Always got to get tamago. This is part of their regular nigiri uh, menu. And so let's see. Let's try it out. That's good. Okay. Um, so go ahead and go for this yellowtail right here. Wow. Wow, look at that. There's barely any rice on there. Dang. Okay. All right. Let's uh, get some of that. Mm. Oh, you didn't even need to dip mm. in the soy sauce with that one. So good. Oh my God. Wow. This is what's tripping me out, you guys. When you eat yellowtail, it's a white fish, so it's more of on your lean side. So it doesn't have that creamy, um, like texture to it, but for some reason, that this yellowtail so was buttery. Like it was buttery yellowtail. 
So super fresh. They must have used hibachi, which is a young yellowtail. The young yellowtails have a way better uh, texture and firmness to their flesh versus if you were to use an older yellowtail. So that's a that's something to keep in mind, you guys. You guys can tell how young or how old the yellowtails are by just their texture. Yeah. So if it's really tender, it's a young yellowtail. It's like a, eating a baby yellowtail. Oh, and then they did confirm with us that they have their fish delivered daily. Daily, fresh, daily. And if they sold out for the day, that's it, you guys. With that option. And then they won't have it until the very next day. And that's the when they get their fresh deliveries. Let's move on to the seared albacore. The Cajun crunchy albacore. This one looks so good. Any kind of seared albacore or Cajun albacore is always one of my favorites. Yeah, and uh, albacore is just always so good. Right. Cheers, go. guys. It was kind of like eating Louisiana crawfish in all of the Cajun sauce, but on a albacore. Not as intense, but it had those accents and the crunchy, crunchy garlic on it. Yeah, the crunchy garlic added like amazing. a amazing. Yeah. yeah, that was really nice. It gave it a nice texture and like crunchy, pungent garlic in your in your nose after as you started chewing on it. All right, really good. Red snapper. This one doesn't look like there's a, a sauce on here, so we're definitely going to go for okay. the dip. So I'm going to go with some of this wasabi. Put some wasabi on there. And then do that dip. All right. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Cheers. Mm. Oh, rest snapper. That's good. Wow. That's amazing. You, I feel like they made that rest snapper with no sauce and nothing on purpose because you were able to taste the sweetness and the awesome umami of that red snapper. It was just so clean. Oh, that was good. Wow. All you right. know that's red snapper after you try that. We got our last piece for today. This is the tamago. And if you know, if you ever eat omakase anywhere with any high-end sushi restaurant, tamago is always served last because it's a more of a sweetness yeah. sushi and they treat it as a dessert, as an ender. And right. that's what we're doing here, guys. We're ending Cheers, it with some tamago. Here we go. Solid tomorrow. Solid. Nothing that is uh, mind blowing, but it is pretty good for yeah. its base of a tomago. Overall, guys, um, everything's really good. There's a lot more to the menu that we didn't order. Oh, yeah. Just because, man, there's so much food. Oh, yeah. And then you know? all you can eat, you can only yeah. eat so much, and we're at our limit right now. Right. You know, there's appetizers, there's rolls, there's the gears, there's special. And there's also dessert. There's, yeah, you can also order one round of dessert as well. And I think oh, we might man. just be doing that after we finish the rest of our food to see if we have any space. But other than that, super solid place to come eat all you can eat. Yeah, we're guys. super impressed, especially for all you can eat. Yeah. The quality was top notch. Yeah. And that's pretty much it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next episode of the Foodie, Foodie TV. TV. Peace. Peace.